According to U.S. golf cart dealerships, with gas prices on the rise, more people are looking for trips they can make with a golf cart. Industry polls say 85% of resold golf carts aren't even used on the links. So I decided to check out a new breed of electric cars that promises multiple uses beyond the golf course. It's called the Garia, and it's a street legal electric cart with a few bells and whistles. Can you just tell us uh, what what this thing is here? It's a high-end European luxury golf cart. Okay. So it's more for a personal use. So this is for the streets. This is for like anyone that like wants to get anywhere, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. If somebody wanted to get around it within a community, an urban community, uh, an area that's within your neighborhood, you have a range of about 35 to 40 miles. Mario showed me some of the Gurias features. A battery pack under the seat that can go for 35 to 40 miles and fully recharges in eight hours, a scorecard clip, and I liked this, a refrigerator that cools to 35 degrees. Now the price of this model, with all the options included, is a cool $21,000. Shocking for a golf cart. But Mario says that Garia is a car, not a cart, built with high-end auto parts and suspension. So why don't we take this for a spin? Let's go. Let's do it. That's right. The best feature so far is the horn. I'm out here with taxis and buses and limos. Um, getting a little more frightened. Oh no, good God. New York driving can be dicey. Oh, look at this guy trying to cut me off. God! And despite the high-end auto parts and all that talk about it being a car, it's still a golf cart. Oh, look at this guy. Is that another golf cart? This guy's gonna let us through because he doesn't know what else to do because I'm in a golf cart in Times Square. And we're off. All right. One advantage is its size, which makes it easy to get through traffic. Do I want to go around this guy? I don't know if I should go around this guy or not. See if I can just go. See, look at the, look at the maneuverability. The handling was good, but I'm not so sure about that suspension. It is, it is a little bumpy. Uh, you can really feel every sort of thing you go through. Every bump, every, uh, you gotta, you know, go around the potholes. In all fairness though, New York City potholes could destroy a Range Rover. Hopefully I can get it up to a good speed. After maneuvering through some traffic, I hit the open road of 42nd Street. Oh, here we go! Here we go! The open road. Oh, this is, man, this thing goes pretty fast. Look at this. I got 21, yeah, 25, 25 miles an hour. The 25 may not sound impressive. It felt pretty zippy. That's what the Indy 500 feels like. In a golf cart, of course. After taking it through its paces, I was pretty impressed with the overall performance. Though, for New York City driving, I might spend my $21,000 on something a little more roadworthy. Just another day in the city, driving my golf cart around. But the Garia is more for a gated community, as you can see here in their corporate video. But in the hellscape that is the New York City driving experience, Korea did pretty well. It was a pretty good ride, I have to say. It's probably the most fun I've had in a golf cart, that's for sure. <laughs>